So the last section we need to cover for our user profile page is deleting their account. So again, let's start by creating a component and I would call it delete account that view. And again, I'm going to grab everything from update info or update password, doesn't matter. And we paste it here. I'm doing this because we already have the imports included. So let's delete the props. We don't need that. And for the form, let's leave it empty at first and also delete this function and jump to the markup. So for the title, we just want to say delete account and also some text. So we are just informing the user that if they delete their account, we cannot recover anything and all their information would be gone. We need our error messages. Let's leave it. And for the form submission, again, let's delete this part. We we'll leave it empty. And this form, in fact, will be used for password confirmation. So we want to add a layer of security and say, if you want to delete your account, you need to confirm your password. So we need a password field. I can delete one of these and change the label to confirm password. The icon is going to be key. And let's set the type to password and the V model that we will set it to password. So let's create that in our form. So let's just say password and set it to an empty string like this. So we have our form with one property or input field. We have our errors. We have our one input field and this div, which we don't need. Let's delete that. And let's add a confirm button here. And then I will add another button and say cancel for the text. And I can delete these extra imports we don't need. And let's bring this into our edit component so we can see it on the screen. So again, we want to import our delete account component and we just want to use it down here like this. And if we go back to our website at the bottom, we have delete account. Now, what I'd like to do for this section is to hide this completely and just have one button at first, which would be a trigger to show this section or this form. So instead of using a model and confirming the password, we would just use the section itself. So let's do that. Going back to our delete account section and let's go down to our form. So we want to cut this form and wrap it with a div. So we want to hide this section at first. Then I will create a button for the text. I just want to say delete account and also add an icon. So this is from Font Awesome. I'm just adding a danger sign with some margin right and then add some classes to the button itself. So let's say padding X6, padding Y2, some rounded corners and red background and white text. All right, so back to our website. So this is our button, which we will see at first. And when we click on it, we will show this form. So let's create a variable that we can switch on and off when we click on these buttons. So in the script, I can say const show confirm password, and we will set this to ref from view. So make sure it is imported from view. And as the initial value, it's going to be false. Now let's go to the form and the div, which is wrapping the form. So on that div, I can say v if, and then use our show confirm password. So because it's false, we don't see the form at first. And then on this red button, we can use two directives. First, set the v if to the same show confirm password, but we will negate it. So whatever the value of this show confirm password is, we will negate this and we will either hide or show this. Then when we click on it, so using the at click events listener, we will set that same value to true. So at first, this variable is false, Therefore, this returns true so we can see the button. But when we click on it, we turn that true so this becomes false. So we hide it and we see the form. Now we just have to style our form a bit better. For example, for this button, I can add some classes. So similar to our text link, just some blue text and font medium and on the line. And when it's dark, it's a bit lighter. And then we also want to attach a click event. So if the user click cancel, then we will hide the form again and bring back this button. So we can say at click, set the show confirm password to false. All right, so back to our website. If I reload, at first we see this red button. If I click on it, we see the form. If I say cancel, then we hide that form. 
Now let's bring back the form and add some space between these two buttons. And in fact, we can put the button next to the input field. So let's go back to our form. On the form itself, we don't need this space Y. We can use flex, items end, and also some gap, maybe four. And there we have it. This is our form. So if I cancel again, back to this section and so on. So of course, this is all in terms of the front end functionality. We now have to submit this form if I press confirm. So let's just start by creating a route. Let's go to web.php and this is going to be our last route for profile. So let's say route delete since we are going to delete something and go to the same URL, the same profile controller and the method we will call destroy. Let's also give it a name, which would be profile.destroy. Now let's go to our controller and create our function. So let's say public function destroy. And we want to again grab the request object and just die and dump that request. All right, so back to our delete account view component. Let's create a submit function up here in the script tag. We want to grab the form instance, use the delete HTTP request and then use the route function and submit this to profile.destroy. Now let's go to the form and just add submit on this submit event listener. Let's go back to the website and bring the form back and press confirm. We see the request object which has the password within it. So back to our profile controller, we want to process that form. First, we want to validate the password field. And this time we don't need to save it inside the variable because we don't need to reuse it. So we can say password is required and it must be the current password of the authenticated user. So this is the same rule we used up here. So if that's correct, we want to grab the user. Let's use request user and save it inside the variable. And then we want to log out the user first. So we want to import our auth facade and then use the log out function on that. So make sure auth is imported from facades and then we want to log out the user and then delete the user. So simply we can grab the user and use the delete function to delete that from our database. Now, when that is done, similar to what we did in the log out function in our authenticate controller, we want to invalidate the session and regenerate the token. We can grab request session and invalidate and again request session and regenerate token and when that is done we want to return back to the home page because of course the user is deleted and we just want to go back to the home page so this is all we have to do in terms of deleting the user now let's go back to our website and test this out i'm going to reload first bring the form and press confirm you notice we jumped to the top of the page. We already know how to fix that, but we can see the error message we have here. If I add a password that is incorrect and press confirm, again, we see the proper error message, but our input field is not cleared. So let's handle that in our delete account view component. Similar to what we did with the update password, we want to add the options object and say unfinish, reset the form. We can also use the on error here, it doesn't matter. So we can say form, dot reset we also want to preserve the scroll so let's say preserve a scroll and set it to true and that's it so again back to our website bring the form press confirm we stay on this location we can see the error message if i add something incorrect press confirm again we see the error message and the field is reset if i add the correct password and confirm we are back to the home page and if we open our database I have no user. So that is basically how you can delete a model just using the delete function on that instance. In this case, we are deleting a user. So we want to take some extra steps for security reasons, but we have successfully implemented a profile page. And if I again register with the same information, I would need to confirm my email, but I can see my profile even if the email is unverified. Now, of course, you can add the middleware verified to the profile pages as well, but I think it's not necessary so that if the user wants to delete their account, 
they can simply delete it. They don't need to confirm their account in order to delete their account. But if they want to do any other action, like creating a resource or going to their dashboard to manage their resources, or in this particular application listings, then they need to verify their email. But our job in terms of the profile page is done. So we can delete the account, update the password, and of course, update information. And this is another reason I made these sections into their own components because we have three forms on the same page and I didn't want to create multiple instances of a form in one component. We are done with our profile section, so see you at the future videos.